guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 7 and 8 of To Your Other Selves. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. I know that ain't really a shocker. I mean, girl. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what in the world led the situation that currently is happening right there. How in the world, how in the hell did the world get like that? What decisions did y'all make as teenagers, as really your, you know what, not even teenagers, kids, because you're still kids. What the hell did y'all do? What did the world do? To go in this route and how can you change it? That's the biggest thing. What y'all do? Was it the adults? It had to be. Mm -hmm, see, Persona 5 up in this bitch. It's the goddamn adults. Even though I'm an adult too. But still, the adults. You can't always trust adults in anime. I'm just saying because usually the adults in anime are the mother of and bad guys. Mm, I'm just saying that right now because like, oh my god. Because something about this. Because it's weird. And I'm not probably not going to get this question answered until later on. But it's just like, you're sitting here wondering why and how the world is like this 15 years into the future. And the fact is that, yes, Haruka doesn't exist technically because she's the dragon work. And so she's the one who's maybe like, I would like to say the light or the heart of the underground city, possibly. I don't know. It's something. Oh, I thought we were going. <laughs> we were in the future for a moment. Yeah, but see, she has, and the thing is, she's in the future, but y'all don't know that. Like, time traveling ish. She said it several times. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get her back. I promise you. Also, she looks fine for her age, I'm just saying. I mean, she's pretty, and I like her makeup. And I also want those two to get together, I'm just saying. Because they look so freaking cute together. But how the, where are you going to look? She's in the freaking future. How the hell are you going to get from the present day to the future? You can't do that. There's no time travel bullshit in this. <laughs> this ain't like Science Gate. This ain't Doctor Who.
you know what I really want to know? What made it? What's the reason why Katsu is named Katsu? Because if okay, we know his real name is you, but why did there has to be a reason on why you changed his name? Maybe because of his mom. Possibly. That's what I'm on. See, how do I ask them questions? <laughs> well, then, no. The, but you need to still explain to her so that she can understand it. Yes, she is young to not really understand this, but still... Future of it be anyone in different This Haruka is one of many Harukas in different routes of Haruka, like where the future could be okay somewhere, and then it's really, really shittier than this one. Then try to explain it to her in a way. You're telling her she's still too young, but she's trying to understand everything that she can. Oh, is that her? Oh, my God! Oh, fuck. To be so close and so far to seeing older Hanukkah, she could have just turned around and we would have been okay. Yeah, they have to be. More like the FBI. <laughs> or like a really interesting secret organization that they just don't tell what their name is. Mm, kind of, but we wouldn't really consider them aliens. They're just you, but older. There's got to be a way that she's just going to pop out of nowhere and just come home. But you feel bad for you because he's getting so depressed over this. 
because he loves her. And it's just like, oh my god, precious baby boy. Like, mmm. And he feels happier when he's near her. And is there a reason why we're not allowed to see Neil right now? Really? Well, yeah, of course. Something's going to happen, though, it's, and it's probably going to be her ticket to being gone home. It has to be. That's the thing. It, it, it's, it's literally going to be her only ticket to get the fuck home. It has to be. Oh, no. Wait, it's not that easy. We got to figure out what the world's going to happen in the future for her to come back home. Well, damn, I, you just, you gonna let them do that. I mean, oof, I know, like, that Hadaka ate the hot, like, it's just similar to, but still. Who even knows how many Harukas they, they've stolen? Well, well, no, she ain't really good stolen. She just got taken on accident. But think about that. They've possibly done this so many times. Imagine the first time that they had to do this and how I must have felt but her about doing this to her best friend. Now to the point where she has no feelings of doing this. She doesn't feel remorse on killing her on her own shit um, for her becoming this and to save them but oh god i can't imagine that first time girl was 
probably screaming. It's like, no, we shouldn't do this. This is wrong. You know, kind of could be running, but I mean, okay, you do you, boy. I mean, shit, if you want to get her in time, you may want to put some pep in your fucking shop. She looks like that 26 year old lady. I, you can stop this. Um. Are we serious? I mean, I, I wasn't expecting that to happen, but okay. I feel like I'm going to have nightmares about that thing. <laughs> Hurry, please. That might get her out though.
Oh. What the fuck? Because you're you lost her so much and you don't want it to happen to you. Oh my god, please don't do this. This hurts. Why are you doing this? Well, that was fucked up. I mean, honestly, you know, you, you know, we should see that in Attack on Titan, but you know, I can't really talk about that. I don't want to talk about that, and I'm not going to. But just, I'm just like, I'm just, ooh. that's fine. He's gonna do everything that he can to protect. Her. There's got to be another way without using her. And this is the first step towards it. This is a step towards a new future now. Maybe. In a good way. I don't know. Where I'm going. Oh, So she was only like gone for almost about a day, just a couple of hours. You know that reading is going to be so sweet, and I'm probably going to cry and all myself. But the fact that, like, Karasu wants to do everything that he can to protect her, it just makes me seem like, okay, there's there was a point in time where his Hanukkah, the one that he loved, had to be sacrificed. And as much as he didn't want her to do it, it was her word against his. She was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. I love, basically saying, like, I love you one last time, yada, yada, you know, I'll never forget you, this is that and the third. And so he's vowing to protect the Haruka we know um, so that, you know, you, baby you, doesn't lose her again. I mean, to prevent certain things. That's what it kind of feels like. But because of the fact that we haven't really had an episode on Karasu's backstory and his history with, you know, the older I, um, Miho, and what's his face? It would be better. And that's why I'm kind of hoping there needs to really be an episode where we are in their POV to see what happened to that Haruka. Because we know, yes, she could have, that Haruka, our mom, really almost every Haruka is the fucking, they're all the dragon tours. So no matter what, if one says no, they're going to go find another one and another one who possibly is going to be like, fuck it, we're not, we're not taking no for an answer. You're literally going. I mean, with, you know, older eye and sitting there looking at her and just like not, 
wanting to do and stop. Like, oh my god. There's so, there's still so many unanswered goddamn que like questions for this show. And I love it, but at the same time, I hate it. Because I hate when shows, like, any question that you have, of course, and it will be answered until later. But if he is you 15 years into the future, I need an episode of either him explaining to present-day Hanukkah everything that's currently transpired and why it transpired, what in the world happened for it to become this way because since I didn't want to say anything because she's like, no, you're too young to understand because this is like the only thing that I can currently compare this to is like any situation that's currently happening in the world right now where some adults, they're, they're okay it's it's like this with typical adults, like you have two different, like a man, I'm going to use a man and a woman for an example, a man will 50, 50 if they have a kid an offspring Either they will not tell anything to that kid for the safety reason because they don't want the kid to, uh, to really know anything, while a mother of the same offspring will actually tell the kid everything that's currently happening in the world because, I mean, they say, oh, hey, you're a kid. You don't really need to know anything about what in the world is going on in the world today. You just need to only really worry about um, being a kid, going outside and playing, enjoying school. But then once they get, like, to maybe... 10, uh, 10, 11, or 12, or by the time you get to, like, 5th, 6th, getting into middle school and or high school, kids want to know certain things. They have the right to learn things. So if it is that, please, like, for the love of Christ, like, let Tahataka know what is going on, why she is this dragon twerk, the key of it, what it's supposed to do, because of the fact is we're now officially about to go eight episodes in and we still don't know certain things. So every single time when I feel like we're taking a step forward, we're also taking a step back because of the fact is we don't know every single little detail of what in the world transpired, you know, our present day to become like this into the future and what they could possibly do to change it. Yeah, this is just really Steins Gate the anime, you know, way before Steins Gate probably got, um, you know, pfft, introduced in the anime world, but it really gives so many feelings towards Science Gate and literally any other time travel as anime or TV show that I've seen. Like, if any of you have seen Doctor Who, where there have been moments where the Doctor and um, whoever is with him, usually a female protagonist and then another guy who goes with him on these journeys, sometimes they have to go back in time and to fix something. And sometimes it is for better or for worse. And that's what we're currently in. And so it's just like, how in the world can she, as present day Haruka, what can she do to prevent this? What can any of these kids do? Because they know little to nothing. And so because the adult version of her friends aren't telling her anything, the only person who she can go at the end of the day is Karasu, a.k.a. you. And so I also really want Karasu and you to have a conversation about this and everything. I don't know. I mean, I could fucking go anywhere. Go any fucking way. But I mean, I ain't going to until I watch episode 8. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 8. Alright, episode 8 and 3, 2, 1, go. But seriously, like, the love that they have for each other and the fact that they really, 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 really care for each other. I mean, come on now. This show, if it doesn't end with these two getting together or acknowledging the feelings that they have, specifically you acknowledging his feelings, because as of right now, it doesn't really seem like Haruka is into him, but she has feelings. They're, they're there. They're there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust me.
hungry. I'm going to take it off. There you are. But if you do that, you can't get back, though. How do you even want to go back? No, wait. You. Let's just go ahead and just explain everything right here and there. But what the heck are you going to take him? You can't take him to a hospital. Okay, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. He said he was going to protect her no matter what. If he dies, he dies protecting her. Me all. <laughs> well, which is you? All right, let's all go home and sleep. <laughs> but he is upset. Possibly even jealous of himself. You ain't even gonna ask her what the heck she's wearing. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> mm. 
Just three hours. I was thinking it was maybe at least like seven. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, just hanging something for your birthday, you know. Surprise. Finally, oh my god. Cosplay! Yeah, but it feels more than that. But you won't let him out. You want to tell me this kid going to be out all fucking night and he ain't going to go back home? Now I kind of see why he wants to run away. And why he doesn't really have the best relationship with his mom.
Isn't that what it has to be now? Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, but it's in the trash. Honestly, I thought that stuff would have killed you. I really thought he was going to be coming back after a while, maybe. Excuse me. Hmm. We're just laying around. So all you really need is water. But why don't you guys eat though? Mm. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> But you're still real, though. <laughs> Watch it be you. Mm -hmm. See? You could have came to her house. Mm. 
course, we will wait in his room for him to return. She had to die in some accident. She, it has to be the reason why she's so protective of him now because Emmy died. Emmy died in some weird shape or form and so she regrets that and so she holds that protection and everything over you because she doesn't want the same outcome to happen to him. <laughs> We slept in the park and then you know what this thing is came along and he ran away like a little bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Them little subtle hints. <laughs> Bingo. Give me that edge. It's because she's dead. She has to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I mean, mm. You never know. She could have something important in there. on your puppy. Yeah, because the shoes are here.
<laughs> of course he is. <laughs> oh, kitty. You want to end it just like that, aren't you? Oh, you SOB. That's so mean. Mm. Took a note from every other fucking series I've watched with the damn cliffhanger. I mean, oof. His mom is probably going to, like, go upstairs and look through every freaking room just to find him. But, of course, she's going to do everything to bring him back home. Because, as I said, since we now know that it's his aunt and not her, his sister, and shit like that, like I said in the beginning. Um, not only did it seem like Yu's mom blamed herself, it seems like Yu's mom's grandmother or her mom... Um, blamed herself as well. I mean, of course, any parent would, because no parent wants to bury their kid at a young age and stuff. And so, even though she probably looks, she said she was in high school, so like 15 to maybe 18, no kid should be buried at a young age. They should be able to experience life to the fullest until it is their time to go, but not at a, a really young age. It's super sad, but um, it seems like her mom, I mean, his mom, is a little crazy with the fact that she talks to herself in the mirror with the fact that she talks not only to her mom but to her sister so something has to maybe be answered about that maybe she sees spirits or something i don't know i i mean i got no clue why would she end up saying you know mom and then emmy something about that doesn't make sense to me and it could be a clue to what could also be happening in this town, maybe, maybe not. But he is usual. They're going to have to talk about that. The fact is, because come on, that little su the little subtle hints in this episode, him petting the dog, like oh my god, come on now. Even the facial features that they make, it's obvious that that's him. But it's just why is he so aggressive to towards you? And I hate that. I mean, yes, they're both aggressive toward each other, but still at the same time, they need to sit down and have a conversation because he is him, his future self, and so he needs to talk to present day you. To do certain things in order to keep Haruka alive and not to make the future the way it is right now. If you talk to him and literally prevent certain things, it can change everything. It could change all the different Harukas and the situations that be coming in different universes and multiverses and it's like that. Who freaking knows? You never really know. I'm just saying, all you gotta do is just fucking talk to the damn kid. Just talk to the kid. I mean, technically, by the end of this episode, you're, you're talking to him, but I feel like with um, 9 and 10, it's going to be a little um, good cop, bad cop in a situation, but <laughs> Katisu is really going to be both good cop and bad cop towards you. <laughs> Excuse me. Between Yu's mom in the house and Katisu, I don't know. I feel really bad for this kid, and he he's using ways to escape from his mom but then also ways to escape from himself he's running away from everything and so there's going to be a point in time and because he he really truly cares for Haruka he's going to have this moment where it's like you know what I, I can't run anymore I really care for this girl and so I really gotta you know pick myself up get myself together and literally protect this girl I don't know I ain't going on until next week. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode seven and eight of To Your Other Self. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreon and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes nine and ten. Bye, guys.